Hi, my name is Montserrat Quiroz. I'm 17 years old and I'm located in San Diego, California. So the way that I balance high school and like having a small business is that I try to schedule my days like from start to finish from 8 a.m. to like 10 p.m. So since I start school at 8, I finish around 4. So I get that time in the evening to like be focusing on especially like the small business and homework at the same time so I don't like overcrowd myself with all of the work. Out of all the business that I like could have started, I think making jewelry came easiest to me since it's like one of my favorite things to wear. Especially earrings is like my favorite thing ever. And I just I love making things for other people and I love small like miniature and um, like minimalist like items and stuff so I knew that I could start like many other things but I thought that that would come easier to me since I was able to get all the supplies quickly and I was able to start it and actually maintain it and yeah that was like it was it was easy and then it got harder and then now I kind of balanced it where in a way where it's much um, simpler for me to be doing one thing and the other thing at like the same time I think I would definitely love to have like a bigger um, like a bigger platform especially and way more customers which is absolutely like amazing um, but yeah I think my vision would be to like as the time keeps going and stuff and I keep getting older I definitely would like to um, possibly open like a small shop where I could have not just my things but maybe other jewelry from small businesses which would be pretty awesome um, but yeah, I do see me keep, go keep going with it in the next few years and not really stopping at any point since I've already started and I'm having like a lot of fun with it. I don't think there's um, like a stopping point for me like at the moment that I can think of. Yeah, so since I'm so young, obviously it was hard at first. But I knew that um, with the more research that I did over time, like the more people that I met over time, it would all at the end like work out really well. And I ended up in a really like strong community of a bunch of small businesses that are my age, um, which is pretty awesome. And that helped me grow a lot. We're all in different places, but we all like support each other. And that's what kind of keeps me going the most because it's very, it's, kind of intimidating for so many businesses to be at like um, for example what like 20,000 followers and I'm over here at like 300 but I'm still doing really well which is incredible and then I think about it I'm like it's because you have to grow in order to reach like that certain amount of like customers that you absolutely adore and like things like that so I've definitely I'm really like um oh my God, how do you say it? um I'm really happy that I stepped into like a really like nice community of small businesses because everybody's super sweet and they're my age and they all understand because of school and everything so I did do my research beforehand but it definitely helped out like the support that I had from the people around me and like my small businesses and my friends and things like that. Um, yeah, that's definitely helped me a lot to have a small business like that made me realize that other small businesses like it's so important to be supporting them because at the end of the day you're going to be supporting one person or however many people there are but you're going to be making that person happy instead of making like a big corporation that doesn't even know you which I think is really special because I see it firsthand like when I get a customer it's like the best thing ever so I know that when I buy from other small businesses it's like the the best thing of like their day and I know that makes their day which is really exciting because you know that um, you can support somebody else without having to support such a big corporation that don't even know you exist to be honest so I definitely do think that these past few months it's been way easier to support small businesses because I know firsthand how it feels so um, I definitely do recommend supporting small businesses if you can. Yeah, so I definitely like 100% support the Black Lives Matter movement. That's like extremely powerful to be completely honest. And that's something that I've been fighting, fighting for, um, especially on social media. I'm very vocal about um, like human rights, especially. 
Um, I'm very involved in women's rights and women's reproductive rights, everything that has to do with it, and also LGBTQ rights. I enjoy fighting for other people because I'd rather be in a like happy world instead of have to um, have to be worrying about like so many people that are constantly getting like neglected for their skin color or for their sexual orientation, their gender. So um, that's really, really important to me and I enjoy being part of that community of like activism, especially at my school because I have grown up in a school where that's all we learn about. We're like an activist school and it helps me a lot to be um, with so many different teachers that are constantly like supporting me and like pushing me to be learning about like so many different things and yeah. Oh, I absolutely love Shop Divinity. These are three of the many masks that I own of hers. Um, she's my favorite small business at the moment, um, has been for a while. Um, here are examples of the ones that I own. This one's like the Brooklyn face mask. And this is a cow one and this has little flowers all over. Um, so another pick that I have is my cow. I got this in Vegas and it's just a cow, it's really cute. And it just sits on my bed all day. Um, something else is my Florence by Mills foundation. I adore Florence by Mills, like the entire brand is like my favorite. It's very natural and especially for people my age, I think that it's very like um, welcoming, especially since Millie Bobby Brown is my age, like around my age. so. It's very um, nice to be supporting her, um, especially since it's a woman-owned business. So I love Florence Pimas. Um, something else that I've been reading lately is this book. It's called I Would Leave Me If I Could. It's by Halsey. And I really, really recommend this book. It's amazing. It's a poem book. It tells me everything about her life, which I've never even, I've never even thought of like, knowing but now i'm like i understand all of her songs and everything so i love this book um and lastly it's lastly it's my hydro flask i just got it yesterday and it has a bunch of harry style stickers and i also have aoc on it and yeah this is just mm, my favorite thing and yeah so you can find me on instagram or tiktok or on etsy as well I'm at Luna Jewelry with double R and I would love to hear from all of you. And I also my and I also have my beauty account which is Monse Beauty with double Y at the end. And if you would like to follow my personal account, it's Monse Luna with three A's at the end. Bye, thank you for watching.